Hey folks, it's Jared Mananen from the website TahoeTrailGuide.com. As a cross-country ski instructor and employee in a rental room at a cross-country ski area, I'm often asked about the length of ski a person should buy. Hey, I'm in the market for a new ski. Hey, I haven't been around cross-country skiing for a long time. I'm new to cross-country skiing. What length of ski should I buy? I get these questions all the time. The simple answer to this question is just buy the ski appropriate for your body weight. Go ahead and add a few extra pounds just to make sure that you're accommodating your gear, your clothing, your boots, that sort of thing. But generally speaking, you're just gonna buy the ski that's the right size for you based on your body weight. What I would recommend is finding a ski that meets the criteria or accommodates the type of skiing that you're going to be doing and then just pick the length that's appropriate for your weight. Every ski manufactured by every company has a specific weight range they accommodate. So there's not one size of ski that's gonna be right for you. There's gonna be multiple sizes. I have a bunch of different sets of skis and most of them are all different lengths. For example, the skis that I'm on right now are 179 centimeters. They're of the backcountry, cross-country variety. So they're wider and shorter, but the skis that I use on, in groomed terrain, like at a groomed resort at which I work, I use about 192 centimeters to 196 centimeters. I have skis both lengths and they both work fine for my body weight. I will say this about that weight range. If you find yourself at the bottom end of that weight range, so say for example, I weigh 150 pounds and I have a set of skis that accommodates 140 to 175 pounds. I'm going to be at the bottom end of that weight range, which means I'm going to be light for those skis. Those skis are designed to bear a little bit more weight, so I'll be a little bit light on them. Therefore, I'll get more glide, but it'll be more of a challenge for me to compress them flat to get the scales to grip into the snow so I can push off. Now, if I weighed, say, 165 pounds and I used that same ski, I would still technically be within that weight range of 140 to 175, but I'm going to be closer to the top end. So I'll get a little less glide because I'll be heavy and smushing the skis down or compressing them down, but I'll get better grip because it won't take as much effort to compress the ski to flatten the scales or the grip zone so that I can push off more effectively. So again, buy based on your body weight. And my personal preference is to get a ski where I'm pretty much in the middle of the weight range. So if I decide to shed layers, I'll still be fine. If I decide to throw more layers on or bring more gear with me, I'll also be fine. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions or other feedback, please post it in the comments section below. And then go ahead and check out my website, tahotrailguide.com. For example, the skis that I'm using today Come